Welcome Knights of Apollo. What's up guys? It's Apollo here and today we're checking out Stronghold 2 Steam Edition. Uh, so I've never actually played the original Stronghold that came out in 2005. Actually, I've never played any Stronghold game and this is actually a game that a lot of my subs recommended to me but I just, I looked at the gameplay and I was just like, uh, I don't know. But then I tried this out and I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it now. It's actually really cool. Like it has has really cool siege combat for you know the style of the game it also has really cool castle building and just city building which is quite fun uh, so we're gonna be talking about the steam edition and then I'm gonna play some campaign now originally I recorded a bunch of videos for this but I didn't like any of them I, I just felt like I was talking a lot but I wasn't saying much if you get what I'm saying like I just I don't know a lot about the game so I couldn't really give constructive feedback I couldn't really just I don't know I just couldn't like it just sounds like I was talking but not a lot of words you get what I'm saying so what we're gonna do here originally I did um, some castle battles some just battles against the AI instead I'm gonna do the campaign because I think it kind of teaches you how to play as you go through the campaign and we'll kind of do like a, a, a like threshold thing so like basically if you guys really enjoy this and the videos continue to get a thousand five hundred likes or more I will continue to play it continue to play the campaign uh, just you know that's a good way to show if you guys are still interested in the playthrough or, or whatnot so before we get started with the campaign I just wanted to go over what's new about the Steam edition compared to the 2005 edition so the first thing is that it's free for the owners of the stronghold collection so if you own the stronghold collection you get this for free which makes sense the second thing which is I think the biggest thing there's now Steam multiplayer. Originally, this game used the GameSpy servers, which they shut down. We all know that as Medieval 2 fans. So now they've made it so you can play through Steam, which is awesome because a lot of people really enjoy multiplayer. I, I think you were able to play through like Game Ranger, but now you don't have to worry about that. You can just go straight on Steam play some online uh, matches which is awesome uh, there's a steam workshop so now you can upload uh, custom maps you can share that with the world uh, there's new maps so the developers have added some new maps which is awesome uh, it comes with an art book and soundtrack which the soundtrack is pretty cool uh, pretty cool for this game and then now there's achievements so if you've if you've already beaten the campaign a long time ago well, you can replay it and get some achievements so you know something to work towards which I think is a great idea and uh, another very important thing about the Steam Edition is that it's now HD visual enhancements. They improve the graphics a little bit, which is really exciting. So it's it, you know it still looks like an older aged game, but it looks nicer and it runs uh, better, runs well on newer machines, which is great. So let's uh, on that note we'll go ahead and get started here with our campaign. So there's two different paths you can take here: the path of peace, which is more focused on like city building. By the way, I love the fact that this guy right here he has a pet bear. Like, just nonchalant, like, yay, let me in. It's like, dude, you got a bear, like, go away. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and then we got the Path of War, which we're going to do, of course. So the campaign, we got Kingmaker, which is like a skirmish for the crown. It's like a free-for-all to be the king. It's pretty awesome. And then we got Siege Battles. So you got these, like, historic uh, siege battles, which is really fun. I originally recorded a lot of these battles, but I just didn't like them. So we're going to do the campaign and, uh, yeah, get started here. So let's click on that. And the first chapter is the search for the king so let's get started here the search for the king i think there's some intros too so here we go beautiful look at that <laughs> oh man god i hate mondays <laughs> like what is this bring him down a noble lord oh oh man idiot Oh, and he just kills him. Beautiful. <laughs> the hammer. So, wow, that's pretty pretty ruthless there, just killing your own guy. <laughs> that's that's awesome. I mean, catapults are hard to aim. The fact that you got so close. No. Barclay does not hold him. Maybe the rumors are true. William, what if he really has fled? No, not our king. Hasten. We must reach the boat. All right, so I guess this is um, our objective here. Fight through the guards and reach the boat. Your lord dies 
Uh, dead Sir William. Okay, so obviously we lose if our Lord died. <laughs> That's pretty straightforward. All right, so right for that there we go. House. They'll try to cut us off. All right, let's go, man. Gatehouse. Uh, this one? Okay. Fast! Let's go! I love this! I love the, uh, city building games when you've got little missions like this. It's not all just, like, city building, you know? But yeah, the controls are pretty much the same. Um, you know, you just... You know. Just like Medieval 2, controlling armies. Okay, here we go. They're pushing up some men. Uh, we should be able to slaughter these guys. It looks like it's just, like, Billmen over here. But it's July 1096. Oh, God! They're gonna try to defend this, uh... This boat. I guess we'll just charge him for the king. Charge! The Lord is under attack. Okay, I doubt I'll lose this mission. There we go. Yeah, come on. We are noble knights. These are just simple peasants. Take him out. There we go. All right, get on the boat. Oh no! Oh, okay. What now? <laughs> They're just leaving their now horses. Steel, we travel in. <laughs> I guess you up have to. To a long forgotten castle. Some monks have need of your aid. Some monks, all right. So yeah, so it I'm is loving the story. Hmm. They search for their king. <laughs> Where's the king? How do you lose a king? Our right, victory. Wow, that was easy. Uh, chapter two. Oh, sweet. I was planning on just doing Surely one chapter. Surely you will be meeting your first employee, Tom Simpkins, the scribe. May he serve you well. Now, I must bid you farewell, Matthew. I ride on today to find support for our cause. <laughs> that walk, though. Sir William often spoke <laughs> of our cause. In truth, with the king dead or fled abroad, I know not the purpose of our fight. Jeez. Three weeks ago, I was Sir William's Morale page. Morale is weakening. And now, there are so few left that the royal champion can trust that I find myself here in command of my own estate. Rebuild the ruined bridge. Your lord dies. You need to place a stockpile, my liege. Okay, stockpile. Okay, cool. This is kind of like where the tutorial stuff comes in, um, which is really exciting. So this is our own estate here. A nice little land, nice little property we have here. I'm just so... Man, this is awesome. I really need to play more medieval games, even like outside of Total War, because I do really enjoy um, just the medieval time period, man. It's just awesome. All right, so let's build. Again, guys, don't judge me too hard. If anything, give me advice, because I need it. I need it bad. Uh, so I'm just going to put that here. Cite your granary, sire. All right, granary. I guess we'll put that kind of near... Let's we'll just put it right here. And then we've people got... People are coming to the castle. All right, we got people. So here's my lord. He's just, you know, watching over. This is where he, like, chills. He has his feast. All right now he's going to the tower, just watching over. Uh, you can also turn the camera around. Um, so you can kind of well, if it is not young Matthew still, <laughs> I do believe you have grown since we last met. Yeah. The uh, brothers and I need help, Matthew. The bridge leading to our monastery has collapsed, as you can see. Provide us with the wood and stone, stone we need to repair the bridge, and we, we shall, shall give you a, you a flock, flock of, of sheep, sheep in payment. payment. Awesome. I love the voice acting in this too. Uh, so let's build a saw pit. I think. Do they bring? No. Let's make. I don't know if they store the wood. Like, I don't know if they have to travel over here. And so we'll put two saw pits and then let's get, of course, some stone so they can properly rebuild that bridge. Um, why do I feel so zoomed in? There we go. Let me zoom out. Okay, it's like, whoa. Uh, I think we can, oh no. Wait, wait, wait. I think I spent too much money. Um, can we destroy this? We need 20, I guess we have to wait for them to get some wood. So cool. Yeah, I do I do really enjoy the music in this one, or in this game. Uh, it's just like that medieval, like, hardcore party mix, you know? I just love the medieval soundtrack. It's great. But yeah, definitely, I think campaign is teaching me. Because I did the tutorial, and that only teaches you, like, ve like not a ton. Like, not th you don't learn the nuances of the game. Probably doing the campaign will help you out uh, even further into learning the game. Um, but we'll see. There we go. Now we got the... The wood saw is working. Come on, get some wood, boys. We need to build a stone quarry. And probably build it right here. We still have a decent amount of peasants. I'm pretty sure if the peasants just are stationary here, they don't get any jobs, they become criminals. Which makes sense, um, because, you know, they uh, don't have jobs and they need money Your to live. Your popularity is rising. Alright, my popularity, popularity is rising. 
Uh, so you have like pop it pop sorry words are hard guys popularity um you have population and you have um honor i believe it's what it's called so with that you can actually um basically when you have really good population more peasants will come to you and work which i really like that mechanic it definitely feels very medieval uh and then with honor you use the honor points to really recruit knights and units and, and etc so yeah it's important to have all these you got money here you have gold, um, honor, and of course, pop, um, uh, popularity, which is all very important. So, come on, guys. I feel like I should have built one uh, saw pit and then a stone quarry. That's all right. Come on, get it to this. Maybe I should have built it a little bit closer to this, but that's all right. Man, they take their time. Look at that nice, fresh wood, though. You do well, Master Steel, but please hurry. The brothers are late for an important mission. There we go. There's All a right. holy relic they must recover. All right, we got to help the monks recover their holy relic. Sweet. So we got that going on. Pretty chill. Uh, these games are not chill, though. <laughs> what are the things I... Oh, there's their monastery. That's nice. That's a little place. A little place. Make some beer. Um, but yeah, the one thing about these games... Basically, like, I tr like, I'm a big fan of Age of Empires, but... Like, Age of Empires 2... But I just suck so bad, and they're so hardcore. It's unbelievable how hardcore they are. Uh, that I really just struggle to, like, be any kinds of competitive. And there's a lot of nuance to the game. And, I, you know, I like the game, but I'm just not a huge fan of, like, intense micro. I feel like with Stronghold, it, it's a little bit less, possibly, because it's more focused around, like, city building. So you can focus more on just building instead of just like microing five crossbows and doing as much damage to the enemy like workers. Uh, I do, you know, I do enjoy, I watch a lot of like competitive Age of Empires. Just It's kind of like when you watch someone play guitar who's really good at it and it's just like, man, that's fascinating. Or someone draw a picture like, that is so fascinating. How does he do it? He's so good. Uh, that's how I am with watching uh, people play Age of Empires and Stronghold and stuff. Just like, man. He knows so much. I mean, there goes the monks. They're building their bridge. We're getting some stone. Um, I could get a stone, stone and iron transport, which would be. Um, where do I put that though? Do I just put it nearby the stone? I don't know. Let's learn and find out. I think so. So they'll put the stone on here and transport it to the stockpile. I'm pretty sure. Um, but we pretty much built everything in terms of industries. Uh, we could build a hovel, which is basically a house for peasants. We don't need to do that because we still have some stationary peasants here. So, like, once we're using all of our pen, uh, uh, our peasants, uh, they can, um, you know, we can build more hovels and eventually get more room for population. But yeah, so far this is pretty plain and simple, and we continue to wait. Um, I guess, are they putting stone in there? Oh, there we go. <laughs> look at this. This is great. This is great game. I don't know why it took me so long to play this. I'm sorry, guys. But hopefully you guys enjoy this as well, you know? I, again, like I said, I'm definitely going to be looking into more medieval games to put on my channel rather than just Total War. Uh, because I really, I've got the medieval bug right now, uh, which I usually do all the time. Uh, but yeah, I definitely wanted to try... Uh, to, especially with Bannerlord coming out, you know, I'm just so excited for that. I want to do some campaigns for that game Hopefully it comes out soon. <laughs> I'm so like ready for that. But again, I don't want to rush it because I, Look what Rome 2 what happened to Rome 2, you know, like let's just uh, you know Let them do their thing and I'd rather a game like not rushed and well polished and well made rather than a rush game But anyways back to stronghold 2 so we're still waiting for these guys. I wonder if there's like a fast forward castle services. I don't think so. Uh, so I'm pretty sure if you click on the stockpile, it'll show you your reinforcements. We have 57 wood. I don't think we have any stone. We do have some stone on the way though. So then they can, you know, continue to build this bridge. Um, yeah, I think if I restarted this part, I would probably put the, the stockade or the stockpile stockade the stockpile probably somewhere like more in between the stone and the wood uh, but we'll see there we go look at you can actually see the resources in the stockpile that's pretty cool all right monks go get your stone look at them doing a little prayer as they march 
<laughs> Little bald heads. Great. Uh, I wonder if I could actually build two of these. So let's see what happens when I build another uh, transport. So you can you can uh, change the positioning here of your, um, your little transport by using the mouse wheel for the building. There we go. I think that requires another peasant. So yes, we have one peasant here who could cause some trouble because he doesn't have a job. He might lead a life of crime. This might be the next Robin Hood. No, I don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. We need money. I can't have Robin, Robin Hood taking the money and giving it to the poor. Uh, but yeah, I don't know if we needed another transport. Maybe. Come on, work harder, work faster. Let's go. Let's build this bridge so we can move on to the next part. Hey, it's October. Like in the real world. Uh, but it's 1067. So it's a long time ago. <laughs> a long time. Almost a thousand years ago. Not really almost, but relatively, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, near a thousand, sort of. Not really. I mean, another 50 years will be a thousand. Anyways. All right, here we go. Come on, guys. Painfully slow. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, but I would love to get good at this game to be able to do some online battles because I've seen some gameplay of online battles and it does seem... Really exciting, really fun, really rewarding too when you win the game. All right, here we go. Come on, be enough. 92%, dang it. All right, that sucks. <laughs> One more guy needs to bring over some stone. So we continue to wait. But we got more stone going over to the uh, stockpile. Yeah, you know, this Lord, he, he's got to be proud of himself, man. He's like, you know, his morale is weakening. He's like, I don't even know what I'm fighting for anymore now that the king is gone. Uh, but, you know, he's building himself a little nice little estate here where hopefully he can uh, call, you know, all the men living on his lands he can call to arms uh, when a war breaks out. Well, there we'll we go, 100%. Yeah! All right, so now we got a bridge to the monastery. And what do we have here? Some warrior monks, boys. What is this? <laughs> this is great. So we got some monk warriors? What is this? I don't know how effective these guys are, but they're coming over. Uh, where are they going? Oh, you know what? Are they going on that pilgrimage? I think they are. There we go. Okay. Thank you, young Matthew. With the bridge repaired, the brothers can begin their quest, and I can get back to my duties. Yeah. What's that? Hey, oh, sheep. Oh, and here are the sheep I promised. <laughs> um, thank you, Father Jacob. I shall send word to Sir William. Great. What am I to do with sheep? Give them each a sword and send them forth into battle? No, idiot. You eat them. <laughs> and you take their wool. What is it, Barclay? Someone infiltrated my castle. French. I thought you had better know. <laughs> Who was it? There were two of them. The youngest one I did not recognize. But the other... Well, who was the other? From a distance, it was you, Devereaux. <laughs> How interesting. I have had them what? tracked down. I thought you could deal with them. Well, I could. But why not give our friend Olaf another big bag of gold? Another big <laughs> bag of gold. Great Leave idea. it to the French to scheme against the beautiful so, English. My brother still lives. Oh. The hawk. Nice. Victory! Sweet! Uh, you know what, guys? Let's go ahead and move on to the next mission. I see you have settled in well, Master <laughs> Steel. Now, if you find yourself short on food, there is a meadow close to our monastery ideal for rabbit hunting. You are most welcome to eat all you can, as personally, I find them quite a pest. Thank you, Friar. I shall commission some hunters. A message came from Sir William. He's negotiating with Flemish traders for a company of archers. Nice. The people of Flanders suffer a notoriously harsh winter and find themselves in need of cloth which I am to provide. Sir William has requested that I start cloth production immediately. Okay, so we need 15 qua uh, qu quaff, <laughs> cloth, quaff, we need quaff. All right, cool. Uh, that's what the sheep are for, I can imagine. Um, but yeah, now that we have this bridge, we can actually s expand this way. Or that, or maybe we get the fur from the rabbits here? Not sure, but we build the weaver's workshop. 
Uh, let's go ahead and build the sheep farm because we do have some sheep. So we'll put that, put it right here. Ah, good old city building. I love it. Uh, so there's, there we go. The last peasant is now working. We might actually have to expand our lands here and uh, probably get more peasants because we are at max uh, population here. So um, we need more wood, really? Do we, we don't have any wood? Oh, we have to re-get wood? You took, where did the wood go? <laughs> Damn it. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll get the weaver's workshop. Uh, I guess we'll put it near... Look at, we'll locate it near the sheep. I like this. It's a very humble medieval town we have here, which is, uh, which is great. Um, uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and, uh, I guess wait until we get this wood. We, again, we might have to actually, um, oh, there's the hunter's post too. So the hunter's post again is used for hunting, obviously. Um, so we need to get a hovel. So this is like the town. We'll put the kind of the neighborhood in the back here. So there's our hovel. Now we can have 16 peasants. I guess they all cram into here to live, which uh, that's the peasant's life. Peasant's life. You know, today uh, today we've got, you know, vegetarians, but back in the medieval time, we just called them peasants. <laughs> all right, anyways. All right, let's get a hunter's post uh, over here as well. So go hunting for fresh wild rabbits. And then, of course, we need to build the Weaver's Workshop. We'll get some, uh, some stuff going. I wonder if I could use, okay, the Ox Tether. It would be cool if I could use this Ox, ox Tether thing, um, for all transport, you know. Oh, wait, who's this? Is this a, oh, we've got a lovely lady here. She's a big gal. She's gonna be working on, uh, weaving some, some co uh, cloth here. So cool, uh, we're looking pretty good. And sure enough, we have a full population already. Our uh, happiness is at 86. I wonder if we could just go ahead and build two of these. Would that help us produce uh, more cloth a, a bit faster there? Um, let's see, what else can we build? Is there anything new? I guess we could build another uh, hunter's post because they're really cheap. Uh, and that will give some peasants some jobs to do there. So get to work, peasants. Yeah, there he goes. New, there's Robin Hood. <laughs> nah, he's just a hunter. Robin Hood, ain't, he ain't real. I ain't afraid of no Robin Hood. There we go. Get working. Get working, you peasants. And there's, oh, there they go. They're, uh, they're shaving off their, their wool. Wool, pretty, uh, it's pretty amazing. You know, like, if you really think about it, like, cotton and wool and stuff, like, I don't know, like, maybe it's just me, but, like, the fact that we get, like, fabric from plants i don't know i think that's just really cool like cotton cotton's such an interesting crop you know just like it's just like it does it grows like tiny little like strings that you can you know harvest and turn into clothes like that's just really bizarre to me wool doesn't sound that you know surprising no like food. it's just, just fur basically um no food no food wait we don't have any food uh oh uh oh we need food oh hunter's post let's get more hunters then I mean, why, I mean, we've got we've got the population. We might as well. Quick, guys! People are hungry. I guess we're we're carnivores only. Uh, we're only carnivores here. We only have a uh, hunting post. Who's this? Popularity. It's a doge. Look at him. Uh oh. Yeah. So people are hungry. Our food stocks are dwindling, my liege. Yeah, we need more food. So what is this? Is this the amount of food we're using every couple seconds? I don't know. But hopefully we get some meat going on here. Are these like hunting dogs? Yeah, come on. How is this even hunting? This is just like execution of rabbits. You know, like what is going on here? Uh, but I think, let's see, minus eight. Yeah, I think we're, we're hurting for some food. Oh, do the dogs drop it off? Is that what they're doing? Oh my God, that is so, look at them. They got, yeah, they got little rabbits in their mouths. That is perfect. Oh my God. I love that. That's so great. There we go. There we go. Now Our we're good. Good, stocks are growing, sire. Good, 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 good. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and actually build another hunter's post. Yeah, just keep it up. Keep it up. Keeping these peasants. There we go. So now we only have two peasants that don't have jobs. And I wonder, could you like put oh, more peasants in one thing? 
I guess not. I was, I was wondering if we could just add more peasants to the sheep farm, but doesn't seem like it. So yeah, the positioning of the stockpile seems to be really important, and you kind of want to keep it like center of everything so everybody can get there at a good distance. Um, but Our yeah. food stocks are dwindling. Oh much. my god, how many hunters do we need? I mean, I think four is good for now. Uh-oh, the rabbit's leaving? That's not good. Where are you going? Don't leave us. We need the food. Can we get more dogs? Is that a possibility? Primary like stocks are very low, sir. Yeah, can we... Uh, no. Come on, guys. I mean, I'm doing everything I can here. Um, and how, how much wool do we have? Cloth. Is there a way... Is that in the stockpile? Yeah. We don't have any yet. Are you guys working or what? <laughs> See, that's the problem. Once you increase your population... Um, so if I could go back and replay this one, I'd probably build the hunter post uh, first rather than getting the sheep, um, the sheep farm and of course the weaver's workshop. Uh, that way I could get a nice uh, food source Primary coming stocks in. Are very low, sir. I know. Oh my god. We're losing happiness like every couple seconds because we just can't keep up with the population, which is a little concerning. I guess I could build another hunter's. I mean, I could build one up here, maybe? I mean, what do I gotta lose, right? They're very cheap, and we've got the peasants for it, so... Get hunting, boys! Let's get hunting. Oh, uh, do we've got wool? Do we've got cloth here? I see you going in- Yeah, we got cloth! Alright! One! Oh my god, and we need, what, 15? Is that the people hold you in great esteem, my lord? For now, now I'm pretty sure um, once you get less than 50 percent popularity, peasants begin to leave your settlement. Uh, so that's another thing that's really important um, for you know managing your your kingdom and whatnot. Um, but how do I how do I the leave? The people hold you in there great esteem, my lord. All right, we need more food. Our food stocks you know are dwindling, my Why don't we just build a gra another granary? And uh, let's do that. Let's build another granary. Like, can we not build it? Oh, can we can only have one? Or do we not have enough resources? Oh, I guess we can only have one. That sucks. Because I could just build it closer. Is this dog sleeping? Or is he dead? What's going on here? Looks like he's sleeping on the job. Now my hunters are coming up this way. I wonder if I have too many hunters. Uh-oh. Get up! Hey! Get back to work! Look at all these dead rabbits you're not going for! Well... Hopefully we have enough here to- stocks are very low, sir. Come on. Oh, look at We got one left. How are we doing on the cloth? <laughs> The last thing I need, like, I guess you could lose your lord by a peasant riot, you know? Like, they just, like, go up and siege his little, like, uh, town center here and just, like, kill him. I guess that's a possibility, but, yeah. Alright, we got plenty of wood and stone. God. We got a chicken here. Can we kill the chicken? We need meat! <laughs> we need meat! Is there any more hunting areas? I mean... I don't know if... Alright, they're still getting him. Okay, yeah, that dog finally woke up and he's going back to work. Good. The hunters have pretty much hunted everything. Look at that. How about... I, I got a good idea, hunters. How about instead of just making your dog carry all this meat back to, you know, the city? Why don't you just pick up some of the rabbits yourself instead of just killing them and leaving them there? Man, I didn't think the food would be a big oh, issue already. Are growing oh, nice. We're at nine. Oh, now we're getting... There we go. Now we're getting some meat. There we go. All right, cool. So my happiness should stop dropping there. In fact, we could probably increase rations. So you can increase rations, which will improve happiness. I don't think we're quite there yet because we're still having a hard time of maintaining our current rations. But we stopped the bleeding, essentially. And now we can go back to uh, getting some, some wool. And I think, you know what? Let's actually go ahead and build more of the weaver uh, workshops. So let's do that now. Um, I believe that's in industries and then weaver workshop. So yeah, we're going to just mass produce here. 
Um, do we have any more peasants or is that everyone? I think that's everyone. <laughs> like this swaddle, like just taking my time going to the wee of a workshop. I love that. All right, so we got three now, so that's gonna help us hopefully produce <laughs> produce uh, some some stuff a little bit quicker. We might even want to make another um, sheep farm. Again, I don't know. I don't know how these buildings work. You know, like I don't know if getting another sheep farm would be redundant. Uh, like, cause we already like if we look at the wool. See, where's the wool? Is this the wool? I think this is wool. We only have one. So, um, the issue here, I think we actually do need to make another sheep farm. We definitely don't need all this wood, so I wonder if we can delete this. Work halted, my lord. No, not. A peasant is on his way. Is this a little child? There's a child? <laughs> Why is there children? I'll take it. Um, is there a way to delete? There's got to be a way to destroy it. Let me just hit delete. Nope, that doesn't do anything. I'm trying to free up some more peasants. Now, I, the reason I don't want to just get another hovel here is because we can't really afford more peasants food-wise. Uh, because we're just... Granary stocks are very low, sir. It's not very low. We're at 18. So, we're doing fine food-wise, but we can't go anymore. Uh, we have a lot of hunters. Um, There's got to be something to hunt around here somewhere. Yeah, you're not doing much, man. You're not doing much. Uh, so, I think I pretty much hunted everything. And a lot of my workers aren't even working because I don't even think they have wool because we need to get another sheep farm. I'm pretty sure that's the case. So, if I could just figure out how to delete something, uh, that would be great. I don't want to turn off both. I guess we could, because we've got enough wood. So let's just go ahead and turn off the industry. Work halted, my lord. There we go. And that should give us more peasants, right? Like the peasants should be, like they're not sleeping on there. Yeah, yep. The food here is so boring. Oh, we have a oh. Bit more variety in what we eat? <laughs> the food here is so boring. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, the variety in food actually does, I believe, improve happiness. Because right now we're just eating rat meat. Or not rat meat, I'm sorry, we're eating uh, rabbit meat. Uh, let's build another sheep farm. There we go, peasants get to work. We need more sh uh, shepherds. See, we just don't have enough wool. So we're, we're just not making as much as we should be with, you know, the three weave work weavers workshop. So there we go, let's get to five. Uh -oh. There is word from Sir William. Sir William! Matthew, you Matthew. must make haste with your cloth production. Oh, Jesus. Flemish trading ships have sighted a longboat belonging to Olaf Grimtooth, the Viking warlord. An orc? It will do our cause Grim no tooth. favor to have his berserkers running riot. Oh, God. Okay, so Vikings might be coming to raid our city. That would be terrifying. Okay, um, we're actually, you know what? We're gonna go ham, guys on cloth production uh, so we needed another sheep farm so we're gonna actually uh, close up shop here at the stone we don't need stone either halted, my lord. and then let's build another farm so that makes sense right three farms and then we got three uh, weavers workshops there we go all right get to work peasant there is word from sir william olaf is heading your way and the Flemish have yet to dispatch their archers. I will shortly send you a constable to give you military guidance, but please hurry. We are doomed. <laughs> no one can stop Olaf. His bloodthirsty berserkers are fearless. We are no match for them. Okay, so yeah, I made a little cut there. Um, the, the people are still producing and still getting their wool. We're really close, but yeah, unfortunately, berserkers are on their way. Which is a little concerning because we are doomed, oh! Uh, but I think they're sending over troops, is, am I right? I don't know, I kind of missed that. Honestly, I was kind of, I looked off screen for a second because I'm just like here waiting for this wall to get uh, the finish here. Uh, but the Flemish have not sent any archers our way because we haven't offered them enough wool, I believe. Um, so, oh. I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for uh, some berserkers to come out of nowhere. 
Uh, but we'll see. That is the last of the cloth. I hope Sir William has a plan, as we have left ourselves defenseless. Dude, relax. Fear, Tom. I'm sure Sir William will soon arrive with reinforcements. Fun. A traveling storyteller has arrived. Oh! Once upon a time, the king held the most grand of feasts. He invited lords and ladies from throughout the kingdom to gather in one of his great halls. The cooks and servants worked well to see the feast was ready on time, so were too busy to see the traitor in their midst. The guests arrived and marveled at the delicacies on the table. Five years ago today, hostilities in our great nation ended. I have summoned you here to pay homage to our fallen heroes and to usher in a new era of peace. Raise your glasses with me oh. in a toast to a new beginning. Oh, poison. The king is poison. Apothecary. Knowing his life hung by a thread, the king summoned Sir William to his side. Your Majesty, I shall watch our borders most carefully. And that is the story of how the king was poisoned. All right. Well, that was interesting. This is a random story about how the king was poisoned. Um... Uh, I think we're gonna end it here guys, so I didn't actually get a chance to explain what I cut out there But basically I was collecting wool and I made some wool and yeah I also increased my um, rations to the peasants because we were starting to increase a lot in food So we we're able to do that and we were able to increase our happiness all the way back to a hundred uh, But that's gonna wrap it up for the first video. Um, that was really fun Yes, we didn't really fight any battles yet, but I promise you if we if you guys like the video remember a uh, thousand five hundred likes and and I will continue uh, this little series and once it goes less than 5,000 that will be the stopping part uh, stopping part uh, But again, that's just a good way to gauge whether or not you guys like the video But yeah, if you liked it, of course, don't forget to leave a like a comment share and of course subscribe for more parts of uh, Stronghold 2 steam edition now again I might try out some multiplayer in the future, but I'm very bad at the game So advice will be happily accepted in the comment section. So thanks guys, and I'll see you next time